hi there, welcome back. Um, I had a guy PM me a couple of days ago asking me to explain a sort to him and I've sent him a number sort. However, I'd like to take time to just um, explain a little bit for him and um, if it would be any help to anybody else then great. Um, and what it is, it's just a basic number sort um, of, two, of an array between the numbers of 1 and 10 and it sorts it in order. So what I'm going to do is, this, this program here, which I'm using as an example, is an array of 1 to 10. However, I'm going to give a, a, a small pictorial um, diagram of what's happening, except in the pictorial diagram I'm only going to use two arrays of 1 to 3 to kind of simplify things a little bit, um, to make it easier to understand. Okay. Now the first part is here, it sets up two arrays of integers between the numbers 1 and 10. I'm sorry, index 1 to 10 and then it sets up four variables. The D um, variable is used as a temp variable later on um, and I know I really shouldn't be using letters A, B and C for counts but for the point of this program there isn't really any clear um, names that would make it a little bit more understandable for you so I've just, I've just cheated and used them names. The first part of this is it creates um, ten, 10 random numbers between the, the or inclusive including numbers 1 through to 10 or 1 of and it, it uses a small for loop to do that. Now the success function or the, the random function will include the number 0 which is why I've, I've built that into a success function to so that it creates number you know from 1 to 10 rather than from 0 to 9. Okay. Then what it does is it puts the first number into the sort of array regardless because it's got nothing to compare it to. So for for instance, say this was an unsorted array. It says A to 1 and then it sends um, the number 3 here into number this bit here. It sends that into there. okay. And then it successes A. So A then equals 2. And then it goes into repeat until. Take a look at that. So the first part here is it says B to A and then it says is number 2 less than number b minus 1, yes it is, so then goes into the while and it decrements um, number 2 to equal 1. It then says is number 1 less than b minus 1 doesn't work, number um, b is greater than, b, b is not greater than 1, so it would finish that, so it would fail it on this part here, because if b gets set to 1, it's at the start of the array and it fails this part and that's when it, it ends that little while. Then it goes into a for count from the max position of the array down to um, the start of the array or whatever the whatever the, the while count stops, which it stopped at the start this time. And then what it does is it basically moves everything up one position in the sorted array. So when that's set at the start, that's what it equals. If the array ever gets to there, we would then presume that it would, it would be sorted. So that one would um, get moved in there, and then that number would get moved in there, and then we would have a gap, basically, for the, the next number to be put in its appropriate place. then number one would get shifted in there. Then at the end of it, um, this little bit here is when it, where it puts number one into the, the position that it's found and then it inc increments A. Because back up to the repeat, sets B to equal A again, this time, um, this time a and B will equal um, 3 and what it has to do is find the position for 2. So it goes into the while and it says is number 3 less than this one? Yes it is. And it is also greater than 1 so it presents B. It then says is number 2 less than number 1? No. It fails the repeat. It doesn't pred B so B doesn't get go right down to 1 this time, it goes to 2 and then it says for the max position in the array down to B which is 2, move everything up so what it would do is 
move 3 in there and then stop because it's only going to go down to where B has been set to which this time it's only set to do because um, 2 is not less than 1 and then puts 2 into its, its the, the position of B where that's been found and that's then the array sorted and then the last wee part of the wee part of it is just to print out the um, unsorted numbers and the sorted numbers so just quickly compile that and show you that so there you go obviously it can have duplicate numbers in the random function so it has it's got two fours, two ones um, a seven, a two three and eight, uh, two threes there and it then sorts them into the correct order. Uh, I hope that kind of explains it a wee bit the, and also explains the why we need these number of counts in the sort but the basis is basically um, you know A is where you're, you're sort of moving along here as you sort each number. B goes down the array until it finds what number that is not less than. So then it stops before that. It doesn't you know it doesn't decrement again because it's not less than that number. And then once it finds a position, it shifts everything in the array on once and sticks that number into its sort of position and that's how it does what it does. That's the basic way a, 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 a very simple way of sorting um, an unsorted list of numbers but it does get a little bit more complicated when you go into letters especially if it's um, capitals or mixed capitals and, and small caps because um, although you can sort um, characters in a keyboard it might not ne necessarily sort the way you would think um, going by their hex code um, so I would maybe look at um, converting everything to caps first